So these right here are the Sense Hypo. So I don't I don't remember his first name, but last name of the guy working with him was Sense S E N T Z, and um, he developed this line of hypomelanistic, very 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 beautiful snakes. These are actually my absolute favorite um, of the Arizona Mountain King snakes. The the black just turns this silvery like purpley color. There's really not a good explanation for what color it is. It's kind of its own color in my opinion. Turns the red this really just cherry color. I, it's hard to explain how it changes red because red is red, you know, but so that's the female that I was just holding up and this right here is the male with less black or what would be melanin, but it's hypomelanistic. So it's reduced. That's what gives it that washed out appearance. But I just wanted to show you guys um, just kind of a little bonus footage here of some absolutely beautiful pyros. Um, another thing you just don't see around all that often anymore. Look at that washed out tail. These guys are wonderful. Absolutely love them. Um, in all honesty, I, I will probably use these guys to produce double heads this year. Uh, as much as I would love to... Uh, just produce a bunch of sense hypos. I do want to get these combos going. I have another female, um, adult female sense hypo. Um, and then I also have a holdback female from, I think, 2018, yeah. Um, who I just moved up to a 28 quart last night. So she's getting bigger. She's She'll probably actually be ready next year for breeding. Um, so not sure when I'll have visual sense hypos for sale. Um, because like I say, I, I'm pr pretty sure I'm gonna use these with the Hypo E um, or, or something else. Oh, she's open up, opening up her cloaca, so. Um, these guys just fed last night for their first time out of brumation, so. Um, they have great body weight for just having overwintered, so. Anyway, just wanna show these to you guys um, and uh, just kind of give you an idea of what, what all potential there is with the Arizona Mountain King snakes. There's just so much. And especially now that I've got that aberrant animal that I showed you guys at the beginning, the future is looking really bright. And this guy's looking like he's ready to breed. So I'm going to get these breeding groups set up and we'll get these guys going. I'm going to show you a hypo E and then I'll show you my, uh, my apple mel. <laughs> okay. And right here we have two hypo erythristic, erythrin being the red, so reduced red. Arizona Mountain King Snakes. This is one of the mutations that hasn't been around quite as long or at least hasn't been um, kind of bred into everything for quite as long and I I chose these two animals just to kind of show their variability. They can either be this kind of orangey color like this girl here or they can be more like a, a pink like this one. Uh, this one appears pink in life uh, or just kind of a peach color really 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 beautiful um just imagine this coloration mixed in with some of these other things that i've been showing you guys man this is a 2018 but this girl in my hands might be big enough next season to breed she actually could breed this year but uh i'm not gonna i'm not gonna push her and uh this one right here is also a very young female uh i i'm on the fence as to whether i'm gonna breed her this year or not um but she's definitely got enough body weight. She's got those fat deposits and stuff. Um, and uh, so anyway, just wanted to show you guys the Hypo E. Um, just one of the very, very, very incredible um, color morphs. This is a recessive mutation that we have within the Pyromolana. So just want to show you. 
and let you guys behold their beauty. So I will show you the Apple Mel and I'm going to grab him right now. Okie doke. See, I didn't say all right. Look at that. This is what was the world's first ever produced Applegate and Albino Arizona Mountain King Snake. So they're calling it Apple Mel. Apple for Applegate, Mel for A Melanistic. I like Albino Gate. Um, I don't get to name it because I wasn't the first to produce it, but you know, we could change the name. We could. We could maybe get people over on that team. Uh, comment down below if you like Apple Mel or Albino Gate better. Anyway, I just thought it would be cool to show you guys this little dude. He is um, uh, just out of Bermation, just like most of them. I'm going to show him your head, or show you guys his head. Um, and so I tried to feed him Frozen Thawed last night, and he refused. Uh, that's pretty normal. He's He really prefers live food. Um, and what makes him special beyond the fact that he's the first, I think the first double visual recessive, yeah, of any, uh, Arizona Mountain King Snake, but also the first ever Apple Mill, uh, but he's also Paradox and he's got these black markings, which he's not supposed to have. Amelanistic snakes are, are not supposed to have melanin on them. So that makes him really unique. And he's also a powerhouse because he's a double visual. I can breed him to say a hypo E and get triple hets for Applegate, Albino, and for hypo -E, hypo Erythristic. I think a hypo -E, uh, Apple Mel will look really cool. Um, hypo -E, uh, Applegate has been done, and uh, Rod McLeod, one of my good friends and mentors at Highland Herbs, he produced one. I think his was the first, but I'm pretty sure Jeff Teal did it too. I think they might have done it the same year. No, I think Jeff Teal produced them. I don't know. Comment down below if you know. I can ask him easily, obviously, but I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. But anyway, I wanted to show you him. And uh, shoot, while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and show you every every morph. And uh, that way we can call this video complete. So hope you guys enjoyed looking at this guy. I'm going to go grab an apple gate to show you. And actually, I'll just show him side by side. And then I'll bring in albino. I'm just up in the ante here, aren't I? Side by side, three adult pyros. Oh, I'm getting constricted. Okay, this is something you have to you have to be a little careful with, with adult king snake. Well, with any king snake, but obviously king snakes can and will eat each other, and I don't want them to fight or anything. I just wanted to show you really quick. So this is the Applegate with an albino side by side. The albino is this one. So you can see what, what the difference is. It gets rid of this yellow band here. The white band is still there. The yellow band goes away. And I'll just let her roam for a second. And this is an apple gate right here in this hand. And you can see what makes the apple mill a little more special is that it gets rid of that obligatory black on the head of the apple gate. So. Pretty cool stuff, you know. Um, I really like the Apple Mel, but it is not anywhere near as cool as the other double visuals are going to be. Um, the Sense Hypo and Al uh, not Sense Hypo and Albino, Sense Hypo and Hypo E, and I think Albino and Hypo E, and then obviously all of these crazy new pattern mutations that we're bringing in are going to really set things off. So, show you a couple more snakes just to call it complete, and I'll be right back. All right. Oh, I said all right. Dang it. Okay, this snake is getting tangled on me. Hey, get back there. Okay. What I wanted to show you guys was the zebra. And you guys have seen zebras a lot on my channel. Um, you guys know that I got 40 of them. You can look back on past videos and see some pretty cool stuff about zebras. You can. I did a video that featured every single one, and I also did a video unboxing them. Now this is not a um, recessive gene. This is more like a polygenic thing where you breed the highest white to the highest white and you get more high white or the highest black to the highest black. It's known for both high white and high black and it's gonna look amazing as well with all these other genes that I just showed you. 
Now this right here is, I think, the final gene uh, in the pyros. Correct me if I'm wrong, comment down below if you know of any other morphs. Um, this is the BHB line of Hypo. So Brian Barczyk got a line of uh, Hypo Arizona Mountain Kings back in the day as well. And this is that one. This is actually a really, really exceptional example of one. Um, I've seen some that were not so nice. And um, this one's really, really incredible, obviously. It's very orange. Got that really nice washed out black. It's every bit as nice as a Sense Hypo, in my opinion. But like I said, this is a specifically um, excellent example. Look at that head. I love her head because it's got that red head stamp. So these are all the genes, guys. And uh, I have one more bonus snake I'm going to show you. It's not a genetic mutation, but it is really awesome. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to go grab him. And uh, we can call we can call this video every single morph of Arizona Mountain King Snake. Okay, guys. Last but not least, I wanted to show you another really amazing Pyra Milana. This guy is always fired up. Does not like handling at all. Um, like I said, this is not a genetic mutation. This is actually a locality. This is a New Mexico locale Arizona Mountain King Snake. And he's not sitting very well for us. He's going to bite. It's pretty rare to get bitten by a pyro, but this guy is definitely acting like he might want to take a piece. But look at that. They're really characterized by that crazy, crazy head cap. And uh, I've produced some outcrossed babies. Um, New Mexico bred to Arizona Mountain King Snake. And uh, they also had the really big red head cap so something cool I have a female for him but she's still a little bit small um, so not sure if he'll get any action this year like I said I need to set up my groups but anyway this is the last one that I wanted to show you guys I'm gonna move my camera up here anyway that is it there you have it all of the morphs of Arizona Mountain King snakes I was happy to share my collection with you guys um, let's get this video to 2,000 views and uh, please like it, share it with anybody who you know might be interested in it, and stay tuned for a lot of um, other cool content like field herping. It's getting really nice outside. And we're ready to go hit the field, so like I said, stay tuned, please subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.